There's been a lot of talk about what people cannot do at the World Cup. For instance, the last minute ban on stadium beer sales. But there's another prohibition in Qatar that's having more of an impact on some of the teams, including South Korea. And that's a ban on all pork products. Korea has a love affair with pork. From barbecued dishes like samgyeopsal to the succulent cuts you find in many Korean stews and soups, pork has become a staple of the national diet. As meat eating has soared in this country in recent decades, so too has pork consumption, rising from an average of 6.3 kilograms annually per person in 1980 to 27 kilograms in 2018 more than twice as much as beef and almost double the amount of chicken eaten every year, according to data from Statistics Korea. So you can see how at least some of the Korean players in Qatar would miss pork during the World Cup, but Team South Korea has got two squad members you might not have heard of, but who are playing a key role in this regard. A pair of chefs travel to Qatar with the national team. They are Kim hyung Tae and Shin Dong-il, veteran chefs of four straight World Cups. Consider that even Son Heung-min, now competing in his third, will not have known a World Cup without these two serving up their delicacies. They cooked for the 2010 World Cup team that made it to the last 16 for the first time, other than the tournament that South Korea co-hosted in 2002. And they're hoping to cook up some inspiration this time too. So, what are they making in Doha? The Korea Football Association shared the national team's menu for the first week of their stay, and they were mostly Korean dishes with some other Asian influences thrown in. In the absence of pork, the players have still been getting their meat fix with chicken served daily for lunch and beef or duck at dinner, in addition to seafood. Chef Kim said the key is to strike a balance between nutrition and taste, while Chef Shin noted that the players prefer Korean food over other cuisines and it has been difficult anyway to get the necessary fresh ingredients when overseas during the pandemic. So, if you have problems shopping for recipes, take heart. Even World Cup chefs face such issues.